everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're doing well and welcome to a brand new video. If you're new, then my name's Helen, lovely to meet you. And if you are already an existing subscriber, then thank you so much for coming back for another one of my videos. I'm doing quite well with my uploads recently. I'm uploading a little bit more consistently. I don't have like a set day that I upload. So if you are subscribed already and you don't have your notification set or if you are thinking of subscribing make sure you hit the notification bell as well so that you get notified when I upload a video. My uploads are a little bit all over the place so yeah. I was just going to do a home bargains haul for today's video um, but I lost my receipt so I am going to show you some of the bits that I've got because I got some really nice garden bits, some cleaning bits and things like that that I can show you. Um, I just can't tell you the specific price of everything. got some garden updates for you. I, I think we're going to go and get some garden furniture this weekend which is really exciting. It feels like it's coming together now. Definitely nowhere near finished um, but there's definitely some more progress since my last vlog which was my garden renovation vlog where you see like the befores and everything. If you haven't seen that video I will leave it up here somewhere. But yeah, today is Friday, so Tom is on his way home from America. He flew from Heathrow, so he's driving back up now um, to the north. Just spoke to him briefly on the phone. After today, I've got a full week off work, and I cannot tell you how excited I am for that. Just doing like a little staycation um, with some of my family in Markham, um, which is, I think, only about an hour and a half away. Uh, taking Connie with us, so yeah, I'm excited for that. It'll just be a chilled one. I will also be getting weighed in this video, so yeah. There's going to be a bit of everything in this video, to be fair. Um, had a good week on Slimming World this week, so hoping I get at least a pound off this week. I'd be happy with anything more than a pound, I think. I'll just quickly show you some of the bits that I picked up from Home Bargains, because I know you all like a Home Bargains haul. So let's start with cleaning stuff. I'm trying these. I do usually um, stick to furry. So I did get some softener and I usually get the furry, you know, scent boosters. And they smell really, really nice, but I just fancied a change. Are these new? They are the Lenovo Unstoppables, but they're in the scent Dreams. And I don't think I've seen these before. But when I gave them a shake and a sniff, I was like, oh my God, I need those. I think these were about three pounds. I got my furry fabric softener which is just so nice. I love that. Next thing I got was something else new that I've never tried before. I do like the spray wipe done sprays, but this is a glass one and it's in the scent lavender and rosemary. Um, I sprayed it on the hob last night and it smells amazing. I've run out of this. It doesn't last very long, um, but I do probably mop the floors daily with having a dog. So I use my, um, I do use my flash mop quite often. And this is in the scent open window. It just smells so clean that it just leaves the house smelling amazing. I've got my favourite dishwasher tablets. These are the best. Um, these are about a tenner. You get 37. So they'll last me the month. Um, but they just leave your glasses sparkling. Like this, these are the best dishwasher tablets. So I washed my hair this morning and I used this so I can sort of give a bit of a, rev of a review on it. But they have a lot of um, the John Frieda shampoos and things in Home Bargains at the minute, it's a lightweight conditioner and it is um, a detangling and volume lift one. Um, my hair's looking a little bit flat, <laughs> so I don't know how good it is in the way of volume, but it smells okay. I wouldn't like rave about it, it's just a bog standard conditioner. I need to find like a shampoo and conditioner that I'm just that I will always go back to at the minute. I just, I don't know of any like really good ones. They had like a whole range of these that did different things. So yeah, and they had the shampoo as well. I do like a detangler though, because one of the things that puts me off washing my hair is just because it gets so nutty. That's why I don't really like the length of it either. I prefer my hair short, um, just because I'm lazy. Then I picked up some of the L'Oreal Aviv Dream Lengths Heat Slayer Iron Spray um, and it says it's got castor oil in it um, for long sleek hair. I haven't straightened my hair this morning and it's not like overly frizzy I don't think. It smells good as well this and it's like a leave-in detangler as well so I picked up that. Got a couple of bits for Eric. He absolutely loves Dreamies. My cat, I'll show you a picture of him. And I've already opened them because last night I thought I lost him. So I was roaming the streets 
I almost went on the local Facebook group and asked if anybody had seen him because I was running around shaking these all up the side of the house. I was scared to death he'd gone in the river, which he's done before when he's escaped. He's a house cat, by the way. But what had actually happened is when I'd fed him, he'd gone inside the cupboard and I'd shut him in the cupboard by accident. Only for like half an hour or something, but instead of checking, I'm quite an anxious person a thought can pop into my head and it can end up in the worst case scenario and I was like just scared to death I was going to go and find, <clears throat> find him run over on the road which is just awful so I, yeah I spent last night a bit of a nervous wreck to be honest so once I found him and my heart had stopped beating out of my chest I gave him some greeners because I was happy that I found him alive as I'm going away this week I thought I would get Connie, some new tennis balls for a flinger in case we lose a couple on the beach. At least she'll have a few more to go at. Uh, I can't wait for that holiday. I'm really excited. Got some of these eyebrow shapers, um, but I use them for dermaplane in my own face because the peach fuzz is real. Um, and I wondered why my makeup was going on rubbish, and it's just because I could probably pull the look. I'm a hurry murray got a, a new plug-in, cotton fresh one. There's a different blue one that I prefer and it's the pet one. I picked this up by mistake but it's still nice. I think it's the spring awakening one that is my favourite. Yeah I'm flying through this haul aren't I because I don't want it to like take over the whole video but this is the showstopper of the haul. It's like this bowl shaped um, planter. Uh, terracotta planter and I absolutely love it the only problem is I can't tell you how much it was because um, there was only one of these and it was on a display in the like garden centre section of Home Bargains uh, they had all different sizes of these I'm sure they had three different sizes and this was the smallest one like I said I've lost the receipt so I can't tell you exactly how much this was but I don't think it was any more than £8 it might have been cheaper I'm not sure I couldn't find it on the website either to confirm frost resistant kiln fired planter so i've got my eye on this set of furniture which i will put a picture of and i thought on one of the tables one of the lower down tables this pot would look really nice with lavender in it um and that's sort of how it will look i might get another one i'll need to put some soil in and everything i might get another lavender plant but this was the only one that didn't look half dead so this is exactly what i was thinking of and with the new stone and everything i think that's just going to tie in perfectly i do love lavender no the price isn't on it but i think i don't think this was any more than three pounds um <laughs> this haul's a bit of a joke really isn't it like i can't even tell you how much everything is but at least you can see what's in haul bargains i don't think it costs more than a tenner ish for the full thing so yeah this was $1.99. How pretty the flowers on that. They had purple ones, white ones, and this pink. My mum has bought me this schnauzer planter. It looks exactly like my little doggy, and um, I'm going to put that out in her little area at the back door with this in it, and I think that that will look so cute. Platy something or other. I don't know. Platy cordon. Platy cordon. It's just occurred to me that I haven't spoken about something i've been watching this week that i need you all to watch you've probably seen it to be fair it's on um bbc iplayer it's called the sixth commandment and apparently it's a true story it's a uk but it's based on true real life <laughs> true real life it's so so good but a bit disturbing as well um is it a four-parter yeah four-parter so like quite an easy watch you can binge it in one day that's what i did i can't stop listening to old sugar babes <laughs> i'm just working now and um i've got three and a half hours left of work so i'm just gonna carry on muddling through but before i do should we have a little sing-along i put this on my instagram story yesterday because it's just a tune It's not one of Sugar Babe's most like known songs that, but it was the one that they came back with when the ginger one came back. What's her name now? If you listen to Sugar Babes and go back and listen to Change now, 
Because when would that have come out? It was probably in my early 20s when Change came out. It just had, like, no real meaning at the time. But when I was listening to this playlist, which is just the This Is Sugar Babes on Spotify, it just came on and I started absolutely bawling my eyes out to that song. Shall I put it on or is it going to make me upset? That's a good one that. That was a good Sugar Babes time that. Um, you know when Heidi was in it. And then when they got that really random girl for just one song. But that was an absolute banger called About a Girl. Let's see if you know it. Girls bring the fun of life, sugar like a bumper. Oh, this was my favourite. Oh, my God. <laughs> Whoa, memory unlocked. I just... Um, <laughs> this song's just come on, and it reminds me of having MSN. How old would I have been? 15 or something. Surely I wasn't 15 when Sugar Babes in the Middle came out. This is where I sh really should be working, and I'm Googling crap. Um, in the Middle. Sugar Babes. When did it come out? 2003, yeah, I was, I was, uh, 2003, I was in year nine at school, prime MSN time, get home from school, get straight on the computer, change your status where you have a capital letter then a lowercase, capital letter lowercase, and I had the lyrics of In the Middle by Sugar Babes, which bit was it that I had? <laughs> well, that was it. Why can't why can't the girls see the world that the boys want the girls to see? That was my MSN status. <laughs> what the hell? Oh, I'm actually embarrassed for my fourteen year old self. Cause I'm cooler than the red dress Cause I'm cooler Cause I'm cooler Right, I really need to get on with someone now Let's just call up my dinner break, shall we? Um, I'll be back later on when I finish work See you later Do you miss me? Oh, <laughs> work's finished Bit of a change of plan though, I haven't finished now for a week. I'm working Monday morning instead. But hey ho. Uh, where did this house parcel? Are you happy daddy's home? Uh, just a few random bits really. Not for you. Not for Nosy Parkers. So, I ordered a bag. Um, it's called a camera bag, but it's just like a black cross body bag. Um, I just needed a new one and this was £15 with 20% off and I thought it was quite nice so get off yeah it's really nice that I'm sure it's supposed to have a strap with it though with the strap, the straps inside um, I will leave everything linked in the description box if you're interested but yeah just a, just a plain like square box bag you could use it as a clutch if you wanted to um, but I won't, I'll be using the strap with it but it's really really nice good detailing on it um, but that's just a staple, like basic, isn't it? Like just a plain black crossbody bag. So yeah, really like that. And it was quite cheap, so I'm not complaining. It's now quarter past five. I finished. I finished work a while ago. Um, ooh, this is exciting. This I've been wanting for a while. Um, to try it. Sol de Janeiro perfume. This is pistachio and salty caramel. 
I'm not really into like sickly sweet scents. I don't know if I'm actually going to like this or not, but once I take the packaging off, it's a done deal, isn't it? This was £22, um, but it's got such good reviews and everyone says it's just a really good like daytime perfume. Um, it's not overly expensive for you to wear every day. It's just more like a spray, isn't it, than a perfume. Let's try it. Oh, that is nice. That is really, really nice. I'll leave that linked as well. That is so nice. That would be a really nice present, actually, for someone. Speaking of presents, I picked up a Bobbi Brown face. Oh, no. Packaging's all caved in. Vitamin enriched, enriched face base. I bought that for my sister. And um, just when we popped to Asda a few minutes ago, I just picked up a little gift bag for that to go in. So, what size is that? 50 mil. Um, is that like the bog standard size? It looks quite small to me, but um, it's really, really nice and it's a favourite moisturiser. Um, so I thought I would buy her that for a birthday, so that's that sorted. That's, it's a birthday tomorrow, so she'll love that. Happy as well, because it was 20% off ASOS the other day. I always save things in my basket and then just buy it when it's, when they've got a good sale on or they've got like a good discount cord. Got some top shop leggings for me. These are just for when we go away this week. I just need loads of leggings. Um, they've got the top shop band around the top, but they're petite and they look quite. Um, they don't look see through. Top shop leggings generally are quite good. Yeah, they'll be fine then. They don't have a lot of. They're not super thick or anything, uh, which is good for this time of year. High waisted. Yeah, they'll do. Nicely, I got those in a size 12, so I'll leave those linked as well. Ah! Caffeine free Coke Zero. Ah! What? I'm just doing a quick haul. This was really, really cheap, um, but I just needed something for throwing on, and I really liked the colour. So this was, I think, £9.60 in the sale. But I liked the detail around the top. And the fact that it's cropped as well, but it's got these like quite big balloon sleeves on it, cuffed around the bottom of the sleeve too. Just a nice charcoal colour. Good basic that. Where is that from? Stradivarius as well, so I know it'll be good quality. I love Stradivarius stuff. But yeah, £9.60 for that. I think it was with 20% off, so that's really good. Let's see what that looks like on. I got it in a medium. I just picked up this vest. They had this in all different colours. Um, but it's good to go underneath like shirts, um, jackets. I've got that denim jacket that I got from Matalan the other day. Thick material, quite good quality. And again, really cheap. One last thing was this. Oh, I don't like this. This is ugly. It looks a different colour than what it did on the website. Hmm, not a big fan of that. Mm, yeah, don't really like that. We'll see what it looks like on, but yeah, I'm not keen. I don't really like the pattern. The sleeves are huge on it, which is nice. Like, um, yeah, not a big fan of that, but yeah, that's everything. Wait, wait. <laughs> It's the next day, everybody. Hello. Um, weighed in this morning. Saturday morning is my weigh day. I really thought I was going to get a good weight loss this week. It obviously was not meant to be. So, uh, I lost half a pound, which means I am now back where I was on the 15th of April. So, that means I've made no progress. 15th of April, 15th of June, 15th of July nearly two and a half months I'm like still at the same spot that I was back then obviously I've had my holiday abroad in between that and had again um but I just really need to just get on with this now I'm um, losing patience a little bit I go through these phases of Slimming World where I'm really really positive and then I'm like losing patience and getting annoyed with it and because I'm not seeing progress I get like I'm thinking of the next thing I want to do instead. Um, but it's not that Slimming World isn't working for me. It's that I'm not sticking to it properly. Um, <clears throat> I'm just a little bit disheartened this week because I really, really did try. 
and I thought I was going to get like two and a half pound, three pound off. Um, <clears throat> to be fair though, I've had a look at my previous weigh-ins and on the weeks where I've thought I've been really good and had a small loss, I've, I've put an asterisk next to them and the week after I've had like a three pound loss. So I'm going to persevere with it. I am away Monday to Friday next week with family. I'm just not going to just write off the whole week and think, oh, I'm on holiday, I'm just going to have what I want because it's about time I actually started making some progress. But anyway, and other than going to weigh-in this morning, I've been had my nails done. Just went for my standard almond shaped pink and white. <laughs> my sister was actually in the shop at the same time as me, um, the one whose birthday it is. I gave her a Bobbi Brown cream that I got for her yesterday and I just sat with her while she had her nails done as well. And um, she was like, isn't it like, how funny is it that it just makes your fingers look so much longer um, rather than what they looked like before when it looked like you'd run into a wall with them? <laughs> And I was like, rude, I suppose that is an accurate description of what my fingers look like when I don't have nails on. So, yeah, she's not wrong. Um, but, yeah, we're, but yeah, happy with them. I also popped into Sainsbury's to pick up my contact lenses and I just fell into the pyjama section. But how amazing are they? Just how cute. Where's the bottoms? Yeah, that's the top. I don't know if you can see properly, but... The material is just the most gorgeous material. Like they were a little bit expensive, £24 for them. I normally pay that for pajamas. I'd usually just be getting like Primark ones. Um, but they do look like they're gonna wash quite nicely. It is now early afternoon and we've got some garden furniture reserved in use. I'll put a picture of the one that it is that we're getting. It's on sale at the minute. We were deciding between two different sets and that made up our minds because it literally got reduced by about £200 so um, I think that's the one that we're going to go for so I'll show you that when we get there. I'm going to head home now, go and see Connie for a little bit, if she needs walking I'll walk her, maybe Tom's already done that though, I don't know. Um, and then we're going to go and get some garden furniture which is really exciting. Okay, garden update. So, as you know, we've been to go and get some garden furniture today. Slight problem. The garden is nowhere near finished. As you can see, it's been pointed in areas and then left in other areas. So, it's definitely not putting furniture up time. But we got a bit excited because we bought it. And this will go in the garage until the garden's finished. We've taken the set and forgot the screws. So... We're going to have to go back all the way to Warrington tomorrow, which is about a 40 minute drive away, to go and pick up the screws because they forgot to give them to us. But I'm really happy with this set. I'll link this in case anybody's interested. It's on sale at the minute. If you're looking for some garden furniture, bargain garden furniture, then this is the set for you. It's difficult to actually show you the progress that's been made without you seeing the before pictures. Um, we're only sort of, I would say, three quarters of the way through now. We didn't have the turf in when you last saw it. At the minute it is just sort of knitting in and it'll take about three weeks to be properly how it should be. Um, we shouldn't really be letting Connie on it at this stage, um, but we have done. Uh, we're about 10 days away from getting the gardener to come and prune everything and get rid of all the weeds and that will make a huge difference because we've had it done before and it really does make a big, big difference. I forgot the name of this, but it's self-seeding and it's ended up everywhere. We've ended up with it all here and it's kind of taking over the peony. And then it's ended up covering all of this back section as well. And usually there's wildflowers that grow along there. So we need to get rid of all that because I don't really like it to be fair. It's, it's good for filling in stuff, but yeah, it's overtaking all of the things that I like. So really happy with the grass and how that's looking. Um, happy with the garden furniture that we've picked. I think it goes really, really nice with the stone that we've got. Um, like I said, I've shown you my, I've shown you my planter at the beginning of this video from Home Bargains with a lavender in it. That's going to sit really nicely on um, the little side tables that come with this set. Thinking for this section here, we've seen this massive, oh it's amazing, this olive tree in um, B&M. It's £100 but that is a fraction of what you can pay online for a tree of that an olive tree of that size. So we're thinking about going back and getting that. Um, because I've been telling Tom for ages that I wanted one and I think he's going to get it me as a wedding anniversary present. 
Um, this is our old set. It needs a bit of love. It needs painting on the top and things like that. So we just need to have a go at that. Um, but these are the chairs that match. So we just picked up two of these with new cushions. It looks like there's a bit of a colour difference, but it's just that the old set's been in the sun and this needs to sort of catch up and, and fade a little bit too. But yeah, happy with these two. And round here, nothing's really changed, to be honest. Um, we've got this little area here that all needs tidying up. It's going to look a lot different out here. It's just, yeah, still very much a work in progress. I would have liked to have had it a little bit more tidy before I showed you, but yeah, that's where we're up to anyway. Hola, I've got my new gym jams on. These are so comfy. I just sized up by one and they fit really, really nicely. absolutely love them. The only annoying thing is the, um, the string isn't one where you can tighten the trousers on them and they're a little bit wafty on me but I don't mind that because they'll probably shrink a little bit in the wash but I love them so uh, anyway earlier on when I dropped off my little sissy's birthday present her Bobbi Brown cream which I showed in the ASOS haul and um, she gave me this she ordered it off TikTok shop but she doesn't like it because she doesn't have much in the way of eyebrow hair she said I mean, I think she's talking rubbish. I think it's just that she's got fur eyebrows, so you can't really see the hers. Um, whereas if she hadn't tinted, she wouldn't have that problem. But anyway, she bought the Pink Honey Super Hull Brow Glue. And I was like, ooh, I might buy that off you. But she said, I don't have to buy it off her. I could just have it. So um, it does smell like bubble gum, which isn't my favourite scent in the world. Um, but apparently, I don't even know how you use this. So I'm sure I've seen people on TikTok using it, but oh yeah, that's it. Let me see that. You need a spoolie. I'm just using this old Benefit one from a goof proof uh, pencil that I had a while ago that's now got nothing in it. Um, let's see what it does. I've already got makeup on my eyebrows. Definitely does something. Is it leaving a residue behind? I can't tell. Sorry, it's really annoying that I'm not looking in the camera, I'm looking in the viewfinder, but I'm just trying to see if I like it or not. That's the eyebrow that's not been done. One minute. Oh yeah, it's definitely leaving a bit of something behind, but that might be because I've already got makeup in my eyebrows. I like how it's lifted them though. Don't eyebrows make such a difference? Like I literally look like that whole side of my face has lifted up. Like that's where that eyebrow should be. Let's put some on the other one. Right, I'll have to look properly how to apply this, but I think if I did it the right way, I'd probably quite like it. I'm gonna take my makeup off in a minute and get chilled for the night I just thought I'd quickly come and have a look at what it does I'm going to get it in my hair yeah it's a bit like gunky ew can you see it all <laughs> I don't know I'll have to have a proper go at it when I've got no makeup on Um. But yeah, I'm going to leave the vlog here with my crazy new eyebrows. Um, it's Saturday night and to be fair tomorrow, all I've got planned is a long walk with Tom's dad and Tom and a Sunday roast. That's literally it. So that brings us to the end of this video. I hope that you've enjoyed seeing the home bargains haul at the beginning of this video, a little garden update, my ASOS haul. I'm not over the moon about my weight loss results this week but we carry on and if you want to see more then don't forget to subscribe hit the notification bell so you get notified when I upload and let me know in the comments what you want to see next what kind of videos do you like best from me um I'd love to know your ideas thanks for watching everyone and I will see you in my next one bye bye